Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Mimi here. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button to join my squad. Um, where have I been? Girl, I've been working. That's where I've been. I've been working, but story time, it happened a while back. And let me just address something really quickly. When I make these story times, it's to teach and educate future beauty professionals, or even if you just want to be entertained, it's never to bash any clients, it's never to bash anyone, period. Um, a lot of people had a lot to say in my last video about my first ever caring client, and it's like you're going so hard for people. People you don't even know and at the end of the day hairstylists or if you offer a service period we are human and people forget that we are human like we have feelings and we have we're entitled to express our feelings like I don't understand like people forget that we're human that we have real feelings and that you know words hurt like just be a overall genuine nice person to people like respect goes both ways like i am not obligated to do your hair if i've never been paid if you know what i'm saying like i'm not obligated it's where i'm at now i'm very 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 much picky with who i do their hair who wants me to do their hair like i might not be the fit the perfect fit for you and that's okay um it's not yeah where i was before i took any client i dealt with the disrespect i dealt with people not paying me and this that and other where i am now i'm in a great place great space i am really trying to choose my target audience my target client basically if that makes sense if you're in the field you know you know if you don't just get entertained i guess it happened a while back and it was when i was making that shift from my old place to my new place because I was just in a lot of stress and I don't know so I'm taking my clients and everything is cool when I take my clients and when I do my clients you know we chat we whatever I have them I'm at, I ask them every time before the service if it's okay to take a picture like a before picture they have the right to say yes or no I'm not gonna force you to let me take a picture of you or anything like that like it's really not that deep like I don't want anybody to feel pressured for a picture or for a video um sometimes people say yes sometimes people say no and that's perfectly fine like it's literally like you know what i'm saying i'd be like oh yeah you can take a picture but don't post it i'm not gonna take a picture because the whole purpose of me taking a picture is to edit to my portfolio my portfolio is on social media so obviously i need to you know that's how like in today's age, social media plays a big part in the beauty industry and in getting, you know, more clients because a lot of people are on what? Social media, people on Facebook, people on Instagram, people on Twitter, you know, on TikTok, you know. So you need that type of content in order to attract people who, you know, you might not see on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I attracted people who came from New York all the way just to get their hair done by me or places like that, you know, because word of the mouth goes just so long, you know what I'm saying? But if you're constantly showing up on social media on somebody's for you page this that and the other you know they're going to interact with you so social media plays a big part and that's why a lot of beauty professionals they ask for content well you're supposed to ask for consent to get your content which i always do every time you know what i'm saying because nine times ten the people who get their hair done by, by me they found me off of social media so they already know you know what i'm saying like and another thing like you have to post your pictures because nine times out of ten people will need to see your work they want to see your work before they book with you so if you don't have any pictures you're not making any content they're not going to book with you and you're just not going to have any clients you know so like getting your content and your pictures is really important um i know sometimes clients get upset or whatever that's why you ask if you want to take a picture or not like i guarantee you the person's not gonna be mad so i'm doing this person's hair you know they found me off of social media so they know i take pictures i take pictures of the good the bad whatever i took pictures of everything and i post everything because as a stylist you need to see my strengths you need to see my weaknesses you need to see everything well-rounded you know like i'm not i really don't care like i post everything on my hair page like um you know different styles different textures everything so people would know um so at the end of this person's service i gave her like a half up half down and i asked her if i could take a picture for my portfolio she says yes and i take the picture you know she's posing for it she's smiling for it you know so i'm thinking you know cool like it's good like it's good like we're cool 
fast forwarding I'm like in the process of making my switch and I get a message from her saying she doesn't want me using her picture she doesn't feel comfortable uh, with the picture that I took of her which is fine like you are entitled to feel that way but the whole purpose of me taking a picture is to put it on my social media to put it in my portfolio which you are well aware of because i asked you and i let you know that before the every service ends every service starts i let my clients know that like i'm very transparent i let everybody know all of that so of course when she's asked me to go ahead and like to take it down and stuff like that no problem take it down take everything down and it's no problem like i'm not going to fight you about it i'm not the one who's going to be weird you don't want to be on my my social media it's done you're gone like no problem like i wasn't going to fight her on that because if she doesn't feel comfortable she doesn't feel comfortable like i'm not the one to sit up you know what i'm saying and like i have a lot of pictures of that style anyway but it's just the fact that people really are kind of weird and i kind of understand that now because it's like maybe she felt pressured into saying yes because i was right there which i don't ever want anybody to feel like voice your opinion voice your whatever like if you say no like it's okay like i'm not going to you know what i'm saying like i guess because of how the beauty industry is people be feeling so scared to like speak up and say how they actually feel and stuff because of other professionals but me like i it's really not that deep do you want me to take a picture yes or no do you want me to post it yes or no can i post it yes or no like it's really not that deep but to wait like six months after that appointment to text me off of some weird stuff talking about some you don't feel comfortable with you being on my my portfolio what it's been six months you've been on my portfolio and you were well aware of that you were smiling you took a video you were laughing all of that so this is like people are really weird when it comes to the beauty industry like they i don't i don't get it in all honesty like I, in all honesty like i can't say when i took my break from social media and like everything like i was considering taking a break from doing hair like i was losing my love and my passion for doing hair and that is unheard of for me like everyone started to peep it everyone was like this is something that you always wanted to do and that you had your whole life set on doing but it's just like my experiences that i've had and everything like i it's, it's a lot of self-doubt that you do have and it's like a lot of you don't even want to deal with this type of industry because of just the craziness stuff that happens con like constantly like this is like the only profession where stuff like this happens and i was well aware of that before i um even got into this field but it's like i did think about something else to do like what my other passions that i like to do like take a break of just doing people's hair and servicing people's hair because there was a lot of negativity and i one thing about me i'm very big on vibes i'm very big on energy um like i said i might not be the right hairstylist for you and that's okay like i will find you other alternatives that can better assist you better than i can because i'm very big on energy transfer like i can't have people that have bad vibes bad energy sitting in my chair because then it it literally attaches that energy attaches itself to me and then i feel bad and i feel drawn out and i feel and that's what was happening because when i get in that place it's really hard for me to get out of that that's why that's why with that being said it's so important to basically choose the type of clientele that you want okay like you're not obligated to take anything or anybody that just you know sits in your chair it's very 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 important so that you can have a peace of mind and you can protect your peace protect your place protect your space even if you're doing especially if you're doing hair at home you need to protect your place you can't like you don't know what's walking through your door you don't know what type of that person is like protect your place and i was seeing something on tiktok the other day it was like the certain services that you provide and offer to people that attracts your clientele and i never really understood what that meant until everything that was happening to me that i realized you know and since i made that switch from my own place to like a cold salon whatever like now i'm very aware of my surroundings aware of my peace and my peace of mind and i feel a lot better um so again like if you don't learn anything from my story times learn that you need to have confidence in yourself you need to protect your peace protect your place 
your peace of mind is very important and it's okay to choose who you want your clientele to be only you know what you want your clientele to be okay everything is not about money it's really about your passion your craft and who you want to service pretty much um it's like because if you have a good environment and you can provide a good environment for your clients everything's just gonna go good like honestly like that was a story time about how my client contacted me six months after her appointment talking about some she felt uncomfortable with me using her on my portfolio but it's like i use everyone on my portfolio always get consent first so it's just one of those things that you just gotta charge it to the game pretty much so if you guys like story times like this or just miss me in general go ahead subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all when i see y'all bye Mwah.